Say it again. Guys, you want to know why there's flowers here? It's a memorial for Nickelodeon Studios. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but this is a green slime pathway that led to Nickelodeon Studios. See? There it is. I told you during Christmas time it was just going to be me freaking out over decorations, so festivities! A slightly crowded Zeus landing at Christmas time, yay! Look at the Christmas trees and stuff. I'm so happy and different things around the whole place. I'm so there excited. There are straight lines here. There are straight lines. Yes. Amber, how do you feel about Christmas time here? Happy. John, how do you feel about Christmas time here? I don't know what that means, but I think it means something good. And we've got positive quotes upon different decorations. And churros. Even the ride decorated. Even the Lorax has got some decorations going. And protect all the forests from axes that hack. Christmas! Christmas! Obnoxiously festive people, including me! Yay! Amber and Sean and I decided to ride the Seuss Trolley train ride. Yay? Yay. What about you? Are you excited? Sneeches, Dr. Seuss, My Little Pony over there. What's your hat? Show everyone your hat. She's wearing her hat. Sean's also wearing his hat. You guys can see Dr. Doom from here. This goes all with it. It does go with it. He has no water coming out of his mouth. Guys, uh, I'm going to show you Sneech Beach. I'm probably... I'm sorry if I'm not a good vlogger. I'm going to show you Sneech Beach is, uh, over there. And I hope you like it. Here we go. Amber. Going down the steps. Sneech Beach. Yeah, there's footprints. And Amber, there's sneak prints on the ground and you can follow them. Sneak beach. And you can see more footprints. You can see the sneeches. This one is fishing. Here's another one. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, it's part of the ride. You can see some ducks. Another. For your safety. Thanks, Universal. So we watched Spider-Man last night, and now we're gonna go ride Spider-Man, and Sean's lanyard totally fits the purpose. Yep, I have this side and the other side. It's a double-sided lanyard. And I hope you liked my side of the Question, world. Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire? I have no clue. I like the Amazing Spider-Man and the original Spider-Man. Everybody in the comments, answer that question if you want to. Yep. Who's your favorite? So, um, yeah. Amazing Spider-Man or the original Spider-Man? Personally, I was like anti-Andrew Garfield because I was like, no, you can't remake Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire is best. But, I love it. He, I think he possibly tops him by a lot. So, yeah, that's just my opinion though. I, I hope it. you like my side of the vlog. Here we have Sean answering a telephone and more construction walls next to the cotton candy stand and the interplanetary popcorn. Oh, and there's a thing up there. I just noticed that. Look. It's like blocking it. They must be doing something up there. Interesting, interesting indeed. We got a giant cotton candy and Amber got a pink one. <laughs> How's that for um, two days after Thanksgiving? <laughs> That's literally like a foot big, Kara. Put it next to your head. It's the size of her head. It's almost as big as Amber. Ooh, this is a strawberry. Is it good? Installation. Okay, guys. Installation. This is strawberry, this is blueberry, and they have green apples, green, and purple is great. If y'all ever wanted to see what flavor is like. 10 out of 10 would recommend? Okay. 10 out of 10. Amber, what's your rating on a scale of 1 to 10? What? Is it, what's your rating on a scale of 1 to 10? What's that 1 to 10. How much would you say it's good? 10? 1,000. 1,000. We don't blow it. But, however, we do have great food, so that is a downside.
Perfect. Enjoy your fall, guys. permission to ruin everything around you. That's right, you better get down. Okay, yeah, 
should not do. Don't play basketball while you're in the parks. It's rude and inconsiderate. Thank you. At Sneach Beach again, I wanted to show you at night. That is um, the olive. That is the Seuss trolley train. And then you go away and you got Marvel. You can you see Spider-Man building. You got, if it would focus, you got Spider-Man, Doctor Dr. Doom, and the different lights. That's from, that's from the Flaming Man. And you can see the reflection on the water. You can see Jurassic Park over there. The Discovery Center. You can see the Lost Continent. And if you look over there, you can see the Gamma Tube. And you can see the Gamma Tube a bit. But since it's not lit up anymore, you can't really see it. Not lit. <laughs> and all these are lit up. Super fancy. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waving back. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> That's the first time I've used that and it actually like made sense. I don't know what the teens have in their new lingo, but I try to keep up. This is the Christmas trees and um, I forget the name of those things. Garlands? Is that the name? Hopefully that's the name. And um, I'm not very good with words. <laughs> this is super beautiful and festive and I love it. Safety. Safety. We separated. Mom's gonna go make reservations at Cowfish and Kara, Sean and I are gonna go ride the mummy hot quick because we were gonna That's go spend the rest of this hour in the park because it closes at 9 but we were like, mm, we probably shouldn't do that because of the concert. So, jeez. I guess we'll just check out the new pre-show next time. Yeah, we'll check out Terminator. It has I'm, a new pre-show by the way. I'm kind so. of like, I'm kind of hoping Nick makes the pre-show as well because like in either spot, we first we sat like, I know. in the middle, and then we sat in the front the next time, and it still felt like the 3D was broken because like I was going cross. -eyed. I thought it was me because sometimes my glasses can mess me up with the double lenses on top of each other, but no, they felt it too. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna go ride Mummy, and then we're gonna meet up with them at Calfish again. And by the way, look how beautiful City Walk is. Oh my God, NBC's Grilled Brew Pub Grilled Cheese Sandwich. <laughs> 
grilled cheese sandwich. That looks like that. That is just blind. soon catfish. I'm gonna tell soon. You something. Wouldn't it be fun playing video games on that thing? <laughs> yes. So I went to Kara to go to the bathroom, and I know we noticed that this door was open earlier, but now we can see. Can you see it on there? There are like wires hanging from the ceiling, and it looks like some deconstruction is going on. And I mean, it's much needed because this is really a waste of space. But it makes me sad because this used to be such a historic place, and and now it's just being now it's just being ripped apart like it was nothing. And. I mean, I honestly wish that they could make it something better, like more time worthy, whether they like expand Blue Man or whatever they do with it should be worth your time. But like, this is really sad to sit and look at because like there used to be millions of people, like hundreds of people who would line up and the slime guys would be over there. And it's just like, wow, like just, just there's so much history just sitting here. And it's so weird. Like you could almost feel the happiness that used to be right here but now it's just somewhere that you walk by as a shortcut and so i hope that whatever they're doing in here if, if they're doing anything will be something good for the park in general possibly be doing with this but as far as i know i thought nickelodeon still own this building but i don't know i i don't want to give out false information so don't take my word for it please google search it yourself but um, yeah, whatever they do here, if anything, I just really hope is something good. That's a good enough replacement for Nickelodeon to use because, I don't know, I just feel like nothing could really top that here. But I'm, I'm a weirdo and I'm all for the nostalgia. How do you feel, Sean? Oh, well, if Nickelodeon Studios was still here and I was, and I was born back then, I would have had fun here. He did, he was born a year after it closed and I came here for the first time a year after Nickelodeon Studios closed, but the paint was still there, like all of this stuff, it was still painted, but the Nickelodeon sign was not there. So it pretty much looked like this, but with colorful paints. And I remember walking past it from over there, and I was like, hey, what's that? What's this over here? Because those poles had like splats on them. And I was like, what's that? And mom pretty much just said, oh, well, it's closed, so we can't really go over there. And I don't know, that just kind of stuck with me. I was like, why not, you know? Why can't we go to the colorful building? People have actually gone up here, up these stairs, and taken videos of inside the windows. I'm sure you've probably seen that. Most people who watch my, my vlogs have been here and done the research themselves. But in case you didn't know, there's still stuff up there from the 90s. There, you could look at any, just Google, just not Google search it, just look it up on YouTube. Like Adam the Woo did a really good video of the inside of this. I think it was a few years ago, but not recommend. Will not recommend and only if you want to get in trouble and get banned for the park forever. No, yeah, don't do that. Would not recommend doing that. But he did a cool video on it, and I'm just kind of like, oh, you know, looking at this, just an eggshell of memories. Really sad. I to abruptly stop recording because when I was sitting there talking about it, as soon as I said Nickelodeon Studios, that guy came and started watching me, a team member. So I probably shouldn't say that. Don't tell your friends. Um, I just he didn't say anything to me, but he was just like looking at me, waiting for me to say something wrong. So <laughs> let's try to go around this cluster of people. Christmas stuff, Christmas stuff. I love all the Christmas stuff. Back to the future. <laughs> I just had to say it. Look at all the Christmas stuff. Yay! I love Christmas. Guys, it's a Christmas tree, but it's big. Guys, guess what? That star on the top of it is probably as big as me. That's pretty big. Probably. Okay, so today has literally been probably one of the most horrible days, including people. Well, just, you know. Just people. Just people in general. Totally so wrong. <laughs> we get off the mummy and we're going, we're coming down the Dare Drive, but in the little venue over there behind Mel's, there was this person smoking a joint and blew the smoke right in our face. And I'm like, really? Um. How did like, they even, get, they in the even get in the park with that? Like seriously, you guys. You have on. a tilt. Don't tilt it. Come anyway, try. we're on our way back to Calpis. Gotta get a vlog Um, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm very interesting. I gotta teach tell. her the camera angle, guys. She's not doing it. Anyway, Tana taught me. I have very short arms like a T-Rex, <laughs> so just know that. Because you are a T-Rex. Oh, Kara, Kara, look at the My sign. Bad. Okay, look at we're the on sign. our way out. This is how you properly vlog. Hannah, I show them the sign. She's show really them, bad at it. Hannah, show them the sign. What sign? That sign, you don't get drugs, you only get one of the drugs. One drug? <laughs>
found mom. She made the reservations and City Walk is looking beautiful. And we're like best view. Yeah. Anita. I need a. Yeah, that's what she thought we said. Me either. But we got the best view ever. Look at this. Fish elevator, we're going down one floor. It's cool. Camera. Hi, Christmas. Camera. Hi, camera. Me, camera. This is how you build a fish at Cowfish. Yes, but someone did not reach the right way. Build a fish. Let me do it. Let me do it. Um, you just do different ones. You can select the fish or you drag it. Yes. These are really pretty. They're all really pretty. Hold on, I have to figure out which one. Ah, what happened? <laughs> this guy is pretty cool. There's a unicorn fish. Those are all the fish. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with this dude because he looks cool. My, I, my fish, hold on, I wanna add some facial items. Look, you can add different glasses. I wear glasses. I should probably put glasses on this guy. Ooh, those ones look like mine. Yes, they go on the side. I am having difficulties with the glasses, guys. You can do this. You can turn. How do you around. How do you move the glasses? One second, I got this. Oh, okay. That They're on his butt. On your butt. There you go. Ah, I got it. I didn't actually do that, but I don't see any more items. Clothing, you can do different hats. I'm wearing a bow in my hair, so I think I should probably put a bow. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Now I gotta go back to the glasses. Oh, here they are. There, I put it on there. Sports, I don't play sports, but you know, I might as well put a football or something on its butt because it doesn't make sense. And then random stuff. A book. Yes, and ice cream. Cause just put it, just put it on there. Yes. Where do I send it to the tank? Remove color. Hold. Let me let me do this in a cool color. Yes. Okay. There you go. Surprise! Surprise! Yay! Oh, send it! Send it! Look send it to the aquarium. Hannah, look. Why the long faces? Hey, Amber, look at yours! And there's Amber's. Hannah, look. Where's why? mine? I don't yeah. see him. Look, why the long faces? There's my fish! Hannah, look at mine. Oh, is that my fish? Hannah, no, it's look. not my fish. Why the long faces? You can play with your long faces. This is great. These kids are going to be doing this until their food comes. What is even happening? No, I think it's Japanese. I don't know. Well, even are the cowfish bathrooms. And those are the cowfish bathroom signs. Amazing. Look, they have a real cowfish. He's just chilling. That's so cute. Mom got, um, what's it called again? Jam in the Blues. It's got blue cheese on it. I got the same thing. Kara got what? Um, the tempura? And Sean got... I got a cowfish mini burger. And Amber got... Same thing as me. Om nom nom. So Amber just tried wasabi. What? Super spicy. Super spicy? Do you not like it at all? This? I don't do it. What, are you, what is your review, Sean? Wasabi? Okay, I'm gonna try something. A no no? The tiniest piece. You eat it. I only have one more sushi left. <laughs> one more sushi? Uh -huh. I, I got about halfway through my burger. This is just a beautiful piece. Sean ate the shrimp, but just imagine there was a shrimp attached to it. <laughs> how do you like the sushi? It's really good. I guess that's how you eat sushi now. <laughs> okay. Everybody's enjoying their food. Mine is done. I'm finished. This one is just so artsy. Just look at it. Wow. <laughs> one piece. 
Oh my god. You wanna try this here? What are you doing? <laughs> I did it. I ate the whole thing. I couldn't even eat half of it last time and I'm like really proud of myself. Are you proud of me? Yeah, because I couldn't even eat all my birds. I did it. But I did get extra instead of my fries that he went. I'm kinda sad though, he got me a he got me a whole new coat and I didn't even drink it. Really? See, the trick is, Mom, you go to a theme park and you forget to eat all day, except for an apple. That's what I did, and I ate the whole thing. Yeah, but so. if you don't eat all day and then you wait to eat that big meal, you're not going to eat as much. Yeah, but I ate it all, though. So I did. I ate more than usual. So that's not correct. So, um, yeah, that's it. And we're not, I'm not even tired. Again, what oh, is I've been up since 8 a.m. and I'm not tired. Why? I don't if you know. feel sun, I think it. People tell me it's because I'm a teenager. But I'm pretty sure it's been a thing since I've been all young when I was born. That didn't make any sense. Um, I'm, I don't get tired. I just, I really love Universal. I get tired just doing daily tasks at my house. But like, I watch this and I'm like, wow, I need to go to sleep. But when I go to Universal you can all day, sleep for 14 hours. I could sleep for 14 hours. <laughs> I hibernate, apparently, according to these guys. Uh, anyway, one last thanks to Gordo. And I wish you were here, even though you weren't, but we were this close. If we could have gone yesterday, we should have gone yesterday. But we should see you soon anyways. And happy late birthday from everybody. Everybody say happy late birthday, Gordo. Happy late birthday, Gordo. Happy late birthday. Okay, so... We gotta peace out. This is the end of the vlog. How you remember Gordon's birthday is the same as Universal. He was born in 1990, October 11th. <laughs> 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 okay. Fluffy Good night, goodbye. everybody.